हाय एवरीवन आई एम सौम्य लेक्चर बाय प्रोफेसन वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो सीरीज ऑन ग्रुप थ्योरी सो बिफोर गोइंग टू दि सब्जेक्ट ग्रुप बिफोर गोइंग टू दि टपिक ग्रुप सी ग्रुप एक्चुअली रिवल्स अराउंड टू थिंग्स वन इज ए सेट अनदर इज ए बाइनरी अपरेसन आई एज्यूम यू अल नो व्हाट इज ए सेट एंड व्हाट इज बाइनरी अपरेसन बट फॉर दि सेक अफ कम्प्लीटनेस विल just recall the definition uh, so what is a set set a collection of collection of well defined objects this term is important collection of well defined objects what does it mean Um, objects should be well defined there must not be any confusion any ambiguity on the objects suppose for example first one is a uh, collection of all prime numbers this is a set because a uh, prime numbers are well defined we know which which numbers are prime and which are not see 2 is a prime 3 is a prime no one can um, argue that 3 is not a prime but um, if i take collection of all uh, beautiful people of little people living on earth living on earth. see this collection is not well defined because beautiful depends on person eh? some one can be beautiful to my eye and that same person can be ugly to someone else so therefore uh, if um, i will um, um, make this set of this um, collection then i will include someone if you will uh, make this collection you will make other uh, other people so this collection is not well defined hence it is not a set uh, so this is a set and this is not a set so there are plenty of sets i think uh, you are now clear about this set uh, now we shall move to binary operations let me erase this binary operations see binary means two uh, binary means two and this is a operation operation means it will act on some set let g be a set let g be a set a binary operation on set g assigns assigns ordered ordered pairs ordered pairs of elements of ordered pairs of elements of g to an element of the set g of the set g so a binary operation is a mapping or a function and it takes ordered pairs and the ordered pairs are elements of the set g and it will assign that ordered pair to another element of the set g for example suppose um, set is set of set of natural numbers and operation i am taking operation is addition so what it does addition takes two elements of the set natural numbers 
and it will add them it will operate on those two elements and it will give another element of the set so um, binary operation takes two elements of that set and combine them operate them play with them and it gives another element produces another elements of that set so this is a binary operation it takes two elements remember binary operation takes two elements from that set and those two elements are ordered pairs it is important what is why ordered pairs are important it matters if which element you are taking first and which one you are taking last a comma b suppose this this is one ordered pair this is not same as b comma a so it depends on the order of elements which way you are taking which one you are taking first and which way which one you are taking second so that depends on um, the ordered pair remember that now we shall move to the, our topic group before proceeding to uh, um, what is a group uh, let me show some something which is not a binary operation suppose suppose set is uh, uh, suppose we have a set a a is a set and p a is its power set power set we have a set a and p a is a power set huh? power set of a contains all subsets of the set a In all subsets i will take all those subsets of that set a and i will take them that collection and that collection is known as power set of set a operation i am taking suppose operation is uh, complement complement if i am taking an uh, element of this set p of a suppose b is an element of power set of a then uh, what um, what is the operation operation is do the complement of set b and this is uh, not a binary operation because it is um, acting on single element of the set so binary operation acts on two elements and those two element must be ordered pairs huh? it depends on the order let us move to the um, topic group So, group. First, we'll start from the definition. What is a group? Remember, I have uh, firstly said group revolves around two things. One is uh, a set, another is a binary operation. And uh, I think we are a little bit clear what is a set uh, and what is a binary operation. I will use those two things. A set. G under under binary operation operation star. Uh, this is just a notation for the binary operation. The binary operation which I will use that um, that is denoted as star. I am taking that one as star. A set G under binary operation star is said to be a group. Be a group. Be a group. If it satisfies axioms, which are called group axioms. First one is. First one is. Let me use another color. First one is closer. What closer axiom or closer property says? Uh, for any element, for any element A and B, 
of the set G if they are combined with the operation star then that all element also lies in the set G if that is the case and we say the set G is closed under the operation star see what is closure axiom take any two elements of the set G and combine them with the operation star the result the, um, the um, product you get that also lies in the set G if that is the case we say the set is closed under the operation star second one is associativity associativity for any three elements a b c in the set g if we up, um, apply the operation star then this is same as this. remember remember that um, um, mm -hmm. star is a binary operation so it, it knows how to operate two things if you will give them give it uh, three elements then um, uh, it is not possible for um, star to um, combine those three elements because star is a binary operation and its input are uh, two elements therefore you have to mention which two f you have to do first then which one see i am i am giving it uh, input three elements a b c and i am explicitly mentioning first operate a and b then the element you are getting operate that one with the C and if the set under the operation star is associative then this one will be same as um, if you will operate B and C first then the operation A. So um, um, in which way you do the operation A, B and C operate star it does not um, matter if you do A, B and A, B first then C or B, C first, then A. So this is associative. Third one is identity. More precisely, we say existence of identity. What is that? Uh, there exists an element, an element E in this set g such that what happens uh, take any element a and combine with the element e then e will, will not change the identity of say, uh, identity of element a so it will give the a itself or do the other way you will also get the element a so e does not changes the identity of the element you are operating with itself so e is the identity we say e is the identity so um, the third axiom says if set g under the operation star as an element e what it does now operate E with any element of the set um, G um, in any way A star E is same as A or E star A that will be also same as A and this happens for all A in the set G and last axiom is fourth one fourth one is existence of inverses what does it say for any element any element a in the set g there exists another element set another element b in the set g itself so that what happens if you combine a and b will get back to the identity or if you combine b with a in other way that will also give the identity element e and we say we say b 
E is the inverse of inverse of element A. So any set G under any binary operation star which acts on the set G, if under that operation the set satisfies all these four axioms, we say that set under the operation star is a group. So what are axioms? Remember four axioms, one is closure, associativity, identity and inverses. Remember, um, 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 see, in some books, <coughs> closure axiom is not explicitly mentioned. They will start from associativity and they will say, um, G under the operation star um, is a group if it satisfies associativity, identity and it has inverse of every element. Uh, so, uh, what is the problem there? Um, no problem, because binary operation, with the definition of binary operation, this property is implicitly contains in the definition of binary operation. So, it is not a problem to does not include closure from axiom. <coughs> so, we will uh, um, um, see if a set G under the operation star satisfies all four axioms, all these four axioms, then we will say the set G under the operation star is a uh, group and we may denote if all if all these four axioms satisfies we will denote g star a group if all of the above axioms are satisfied Here we are uh, mentioning the set and the operation. Both are necessary. A set itself is um, a set uh, can't be a group alone. It must have a. Um, it, it should have a uh, operation, and with that operation, it should satisfy all four axioms. After then, it will be a group. <coughs>